Now I was watching a video by Trevor Freeman, who is a very good YouTuber who I suggest you subscribe to. Go check out his stuff. And this video was about the inherent anxiety that people seem to carry around with them on a day-to-day -day basis in this day and age. Trevor talked about how he watched his documentary. And in his documentary, they talked about how previously in the past, a few hundred years ago, people were separated by their classes. Of course, there'll be the rulers who are on top of the chain, on top of the great chain of being, and below them, the elites and clergymen, and then the peasants. So everyone had set roles to play. You are born into your destiny. So because of this, people didn't carry an anxiety. They might not have liked the position that they were born into, but they accepted it because there was nothing else they could do. However, in this day and age, it is now a common theme or a, a, it's commonly known that you can become whoever the fuck you want to become. Look at Donald Trump. If you want to be president, you can become president just like Donald Trump. If you want to be an astronaut, you can become an astronaut. And failing to do this is just your fault. So that is where the anxiety comes in. Because other people are able to become incredibly successful and your position might just be an average one you feel anxious. You always have this need to kind of elevate yourself to a higher position, to, to make yourself more important. And social media, Trevor Freeman says, has exploded this anxiety because now we're able to see what other people are doing 24-7, 365. Now we're always comparing ourselves to the Jones or the Joneses or the Jones or the Timothys or whoever the fuck your neighbor is. You're always trying to compare yourself to see where you're standing. So you go on Snapchat and you see that perhaps your cousin, he's in Dubai, he's living it up. You go on Facebook, you see your ex-girlfriend, she's with a new guy, they're traveling the world. You go on Instagram. You see maybe your friend from high school, he's now got a corporate job, he's making a lot of money and you're always comparing yourself to these people. And naturally, this is not healthy because in the real world, you cannot have everyone at the top. And in the real world, not everyone lives this life that they portray on the internet. It's all a game of false pretenses. Everyone's trying to set out an image trying to show the type of lifestyle they have. Even Floyd Mayweather, who is posting all these pictures on Instagram of him bowling, his life is not what it seems to be. Dan Bilzerian, all these guys have their own issues they deal with, their own struggles, but the internet can make them into some kind of god. They can make people look at these guys like icons and feel like their life is shit compared to these guys. When in reality, everyone has their troubles. So you need to watch out for the problem that is social media. You need to not take it too seriously. Of course, it's good to communicate with your friends and people across the world. But if you can get trapped into this comparing game, you're going to be very anxious. You're going to feel a lot of pressure to step up. And it's just not good because people are setting unrealistic standards. For example, in the fitness industry, only lately... People have been getting busted for photoshopping their pictures on Instagram. So a lot of these fitness models who claim to be natural, who are probably taking steroids, have been caught out photoshopping their pictures as well with Adobe. So can you imagine the immense amount of pressure someone will feel when they see these icons on Instagram and then they look at their own bodies and they just can't compare? So don't be bamboozled by the internet. Know what it is, see for what it is, and address accordingly. Don't spend most of your time on it and don't compare yourself to others. Focus on yourself. See, I believe we're living in the age of distraction. Previously, people were able to come up with great discoveries. People were really passionate about what they did because they had more time to work on their craft. In this day and age, it's very difficult to really get fully immersed into something because of the distractions we have. 24-7 left, right, and center. Game of Thrones new episode just came out. You know, freaking Real Housewives of Atlanta. Whatever the hell. League of Legends. 
matchmaking, everything is just distracting you, Facebook notifications, text messages, that you can't really dedicate yourself to anything immensely and go into it. And that's the type of focus you need to truly be great. You need to be able to filter out the distractions, filter out the false pretenses all over the internet and just go in. So hopefully you got something from this video and hopefully you're going to go in from here on out and see things for what they are and masquerade. And I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you like, subscribe. And once again, go check out Trevor's channel. It's really good shit. Say, ah, oh, the realized men sent you. Peace. Do it! Just do it!